The Yonup News Agency reports that the United States has deployed a strategic B-1 bomber to South Korea. This decision was made in response to North Korea's recent continuous missile tests. More recently, Pyongyang fired a short-range ballistic missile into the sea on March 19. In South Korea, the B-1 bomber will participate in the Freedom Shield exercise alongside South Korea's F-35A and the US F-16 fighter jets. The B-1B Lancer, also known as the Phantom of the Sky, is a versatile, long-range, and heavily armed. It is considered one of the backbone aircraft of the U.S. long-range bomber fleet. With a range of over 9,000 kilometers and capable of carrying 56 tons of various bombs, the B-1B Lancer can strike anywhere in the world and is hailed as a technological marvel of the U.S. Join us today on U.S. Military Summary as we explore this amazing aircraft in a video. Since World War II, the U.S. has shifted its air combat strategy from numerical dominance to technological superiority. Despite being in service for over 40 years, the B-1B Lancer remains a modern marvel, thanks to its technology updates and upgrades. Despite being a heavy bomber, the Lancer can fly at supersonic speeds exceeding 1300 kilometers per hour. It is powered by four General Electric F-101 GE-102 turbofan engines that provide thrust for its 216-ton frame. One of the craziest features of the B-1B is its ability to fly low and follow the terrain. We can use radar to fly low and follow the terrain through mountain ranges, said Lt. Col. Coyote Laney, a training pilot in the 28th Bomb Squadron to popular mechanics. 
At that altitude, most air defense radar systems struggle to distinguish the B-1B from the surrounding terrain, especially in hilly areas. It's crazy to fly at 60 meters, but we can do it at night or in conditions where we can't see anything. The error rate at this altitude is very low, said Lieutenant Colonel Laney. The U.S. Air Force has announced its intention to retire the B-1B to support the next generation B-21 Raider stealth bomber. But it seems the B-1B will continue to serve for a long time to come. In April 2018, the B-1B demonstrated its new role by launching 19 joint air-to-surface standoff missiles JASSMs, and targets in Syria. The extended range and stealth capability of the JASSM made it an important addition to the B-1B's arsenal. In particular, the long-range anti-ship missile LRASM achieved initial operational capability on the B-1Bs in 2018. That makes us the premier anti-ship platform, said Lt. Col. Laney. Two presidents and numerous air defense forces have tried to kill the Lancer, but no one can bring it down. The B-1B continues to dominate the skies and remains a special war machine. The B-1B Lancer carries terrifying weapons after 30 years. Images released by the U.S. Air Force on January 9, 2023, but only recently made public, show a B-1B upgrade with a load-carrying frame called a Long Load Facility LLF. This LLF system for the B-1B is a first-of-its-kind upgrade in 30 years. With the LLF system, technicians can easily load bombs or missiles, which are then installed in the aircraft's weapons bay. The new launch configuration for the B-1B is equipped with JBU-31 JDAM bombs. According to the U.S. Air Force, this specialized launch system can carry a variety of different weapons, including hypersonic weapons, ground-to-ground -ground cruise missiles JASSM, or tactical nuclear weapons, depending on specific needs. The U.S.'s upgrade of the B-1B with the ability to carry new weapons, particularly hypersonic weapons, is seen as crucial to the Air Force. This is because the B-2 Spirit Fleet is increasingly aging and incapable of carrying hypersonic weapons, while the B-21's deployment date is still uncertain. The U.S. Air Force previously pursued two hypersonic weapon programs, the Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon ARRW, with the AGM-138A missile prototype and the hypersonic conventional strike weapon, HCSW, with the X-51 Wide Raider model. In an effort to catch up with Russia and other rival countries in the field of future hypersonic weapons, the U.S. Air Force decided in February 2020 to cancel the X-51 Wave Rider missile development program and focus resources on the remaining program with the B-1B selected as the transport vehicle for the new hypersonic weapon launch system. The new role of the B-1B bomber is similar to the Tu-160 long-range strategic bomber of the Russian Strategic Air Force. Accordingly, the U.S. Air Force will retire 17 old B-1Bs and upgrade the remaining 44 aircraft with eight additional weapon racks on the fuselage and wings to carry AGM-183A missiles and long-range standoff LRSO cruise missiles. General Timothy Ray, leader of the U.S. Strategic Command Air Force, said, Our goal is to have at least one B-1B bomber squadron, 16 bombers, with full capability to carry new hypersonic weapons in the near future. When the upgrade is complete, each B-1B can carry up to 31 new hypersonic strategic missiles and carry out its original design mission of approaching and launching accurate high-precision nuclear attacks on enemy strategic targets. Combined with the new hypersonic weapons of the Army and Navy and the CHGB hypersonic glide vehicle, the B-1B will be one of the critical components of the U.S. military's global strategic deterrent capability in the future, even when the B-21 is deployed. And that's all the content for today. What do you think about this story? Please leave your thoughts in the video comments. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Now goodbye and see you again soon.